Hi everybody, my name is Professor Miller or Mrs. Miller and I'm going to be teaching your Gen Chem 2 summer class in 2020. A lot of our work is going to be online so I'm kind of going to use this as an example of how you could make your own introductory video. Um, you can use your phone. You, I'm using my laptop and a webcam but um, you know there's a lot of options for you technologically which I'll cover a little bit in one of our introduction videos about technology for, for the class. Um, I'm using Zoom to record this um, with no one in the room, just me. You can do that for free. You can sign up for a free Zoom account, um, which is one handy way to use, just capture screens. Um, that's gonna be one option you have this semester, not a requirement, but an option for doing some of your work, like discussion posts and our introduction and some of our projects. It's entirely up to you, it's not a requirement. Um, so, my preferred pronouns are she, and when you make your introduction post, I would appreciate knowing what your preference is. Um, and I will put this in the instructions so you don't have to write any notes about this stuff, but I'll put it in the discussion board instructions. Um, but that's just so that I know what you prefer. I just need to know um, so that I don't mess up. Um, one of the questions I like to ask students is what your future career plans are. Um, the reason for that is really because the major that you might have selected when you registered here might not actually reflect what you're, what you're actually wanting to get out of the class. And I do like to customize classes for um, the types of students that I have. Um, I studied initially physics in college and then I found out that in chemistry you get to light a lot of things on fire. So I changed my major to chemistry, um, specifically biochemistry. Uh, I've always been fascinated with how the body works and that has served me well in terms of understanding some of this COVID uh, research that's going on and what's reliable and what's not. And um, I find that it applies to a surprisingly wide array of things in my life, not just disease and medicine and stuff like that, but um, I hope that through this course, you're going to see those connections too. So like, for example, um, when I was in college, I had a car whose battery kept dying every other November and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was going on and I was not rich in college. So it, it helped um, when I finally finished general chemistry, I figured out that the issue is cold. Um, as it turns out, batteries work well your standard car battery, anyway, there are different kinds of batteries that we get to learn about at the end of the term, but your standard car battery doesn't work all that well in the cold. And um, it turns out if you buy a battery that is a little bit more expensive, they aren't as susceptible to that because they are actually chemically different. Um, so like knowing when it's good to invest your money in more expensive things, knowing when you can cut corners, that sort of stuff is handy just in your everyday life, even if your career doesn't feel like it necessarily applies to chemistry. Um, but they call chemistry the central science, it's actually the name of your textbook, um, because it touches on everything. It really doesn't matter what you're doing, since chemistry is the science of matter, um, it's going to be involved in everything you do. So that's, that's how I feel like this course can connect to some of the things in your lives. And I, I hope as we go through it, you'll, you'll be using the discussion boards um, to, to make those connections because that's how information sticks is when you connect it to something relevant for you. My next question is, I'd like to know what you're most looking forward to learning. So you can preview the syllabus to see um, the specific chapters we're studying. Essentially, it's chapters 13 through 20, except for chapter 18. Um, I integrate chapter 18 into our equilibrium discussion and our acid-base um, sort of discussions. It is an interesting chapter. We just simply don't have the time to cover it. It's about environmental chemistry. So if that's something you're particularly interested in, um, maybe go back and look at that after the term is over. Um, but at any rate, that's the chapters we're studying. And um, I'm curious what each of you is is most interested in learning. Um, I'm also curious what you are the most worried about with this class. Um, some people filled out the survey and they said things like um, keeping track of deadlines, 
I'm hoping that I help you with that a little bit by we're going to have sort of regular meetings to touch base and I'm going to send out regular emails to individuals who might be missing work that's due pretty soon. Um, and I also hope that Blackboard shows you the calendar with all the due dates on it. And uh, I try to keep Blackboard as organized and clean as possible so you can find things easily. But you're definitely going to want to check out the Blackboard introductory video. Uh, I'm going to walk you through where to find things and um, where information is going to be posted for you. Okay. But in terms of the topics, not really in terms of the technology or the mode online or in person, all that. In terms of the topics we're studying, what are you the most worried about? What do you feel like might be difficult based on your past experience? Um, and maybe even tell me a little bit of why you think it's going to be tough. And then finally, um, one fun fact about you, which is always a really difficult thing when you're in a class and the teacher calls on you or you go around the room and they ask you to do this. Um, I'm always uncomfortable with that question. I'm super introverted, but it turns out that sharing little pieces of our lives is one way to help us feel connected to the class and when you feel connected to a course you are much more likely to be successful um so i'll just share a few things about me you don't necessarily have to share the same types of things it's up to you um i have two children they are 14 years apart so i have one who's 20 and he is grown and in his own house with his own child and I have a seven-year-old daughter who is still home with me. You are likely to see her, especially in our um, online synchronous classes. I think she's going to come say hi now. Don't forget that bio's dog. Okay, that was Genevieve. Um, if you have children or siblings or you know roommates or anything like that in your house. Um, try to let them know when you're going to be on video, uh, but I understand that they're going to interrupt and I hope that you understand the same thing. Um, my daughter is very social and she actually has been home since December because she had heart surgery, um, which means two things. Number one, she's tired of me. And number two, she's, she's really missing socialization. So don't be surprised if she comes to say hi. Um, so that's one fact about me among many. Uh, a, a more a more interesting thing is I like to make things. One of the aspects of being a chemist that I really, really liked is um, being able to produce things from nothing, right? <laughs> being able to produce something out of basically useless materials. So in my spare time, that was a joke. I'm a mom and I work all the time. But, you know, like in the imaginary spare time that I have. I like to make stuff. So I make t-shirts out of vinyl and I make, uh, I sew stuff. Uh, I also like to crochet. So here's a blanket that I actually started last fall. Oh, the green is trying to walk. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> green screen fun. Look, you can see the ocean. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is a blanket I actually started last October. So this took me like maybe 15 minutes. That's cool. 20 minutes, an hour for each block of color. Um, something like that but that's as far as I've gotten so that's how much free time I have not a lot but I do like to make things um, okay and then the last question it's not really a question the last opportunity in your introductory post is an ask me anything so literally any question you have you can feel free to ask it I may or may not answer depending on the question but um, it can be about me it can be about um, your education it can be about the world in general. I don't know. Whatever you want to ask, feel free. And I will address those in, in the discussion. It's nice to meet you and I look forward to working together this summer. Um, I'll see you in lab. <laughs>